the senses. Design beyond vision. Tactile City. Animated line drawings of a pedestrian. First, we start with a citywide tactile path, embedded in every sidewalk. As someone runs their mobility cane along this path, tiles with varying patterns will indicate things like trash cans, bus stops, and entrances to buildings. In addition, city blocks will be divided into four segments. Each time a person crosses a segment, it is marked on the tactile path. The segment markers are an additional reference when specifying a city location to visually impaired pedestrians. A standardized tactile language will allow people with visual impairments to navigate independently throughout the city. So if and when there are interruptions in their routine, a pedestrian is easily able to detect them. Let's examine one of the most complex interruptions, the construction zone. The first indication of upcoming construction will be a textured mat nested into the tactile path. When a pedestrian gets closer to the detour, sound devices temporarily attached to barriers will inform him or her where the path has been redirected. When the detour spills into the street, a ramp connects the two levels. Additional guiding edges placed on the top and bottom of existing barriers provides further information about the duration of the detour in Braille and extends tactile cues onto the street. As the pedestrian continues through the detour, the guiding edges and sound devices lead them back towards a tactile path where they can resume their regular commute. The pedestrian proceeds through the detour and follows the sound signal back to the sidewalk and onto the regular tactile path. Instructor, Teddy Kaufman, The Cooper Union. Students, Rattan Sir, Charlie Blanchard, Chris Taleff, Sam Friedberg, Thomas Hayer. Alumni, Emily Gossio, Joe Riley, Wei Ji Ho. Sound assistants, Zach Poff. Supported by New York City Department of Design and Construction. Thanks to New York City Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities.